Alright, so this is a fairly advanced um, playthrough of my career mode with 0.24, uh, 0.2, as you can see I have most of the tech tree unlocked, except for a few things here at the end. Uh, disclaimer, I'm running the A's pack, and I have the Hellcore capsule. So I shall show you a capsule I just sent to the moon not long ago. Moonshot 3. Pretty simple. Two pairs of parallel stage mainsails, a center core skipper, and topping it off is an Alcor capsule with a really fat uh, lander base. Now since I'm using the A's parts pack, I have the ability to put uh, engines pretty much wherever I want, so I can go like this, let me, and then I can just sort of double them up, like that, and now I have four engines, so it has a little bit of flexibility, so I like the Ace Pack, it's very uh, nice. Now the problem is just making sure I get that on there, right? So, that's a special A's decoupler here. It uh, gives you a bunch of connection points. You can decide uh, where you want the thing to go up on your uh, whatever. So it fits a variety of engines. The standard little SAS module here to help this thing steer. Uh, it's not terribly expensive. Only 135,000 to launch. And as you can see, I got 3.79 million right now. Uh, so I've had a pretty successful career run building Spartan flag. This whole thing is designed to come back to curve and that's why I have the uh, radial chutes on it. Uh, radial chutes are, chutes are very, very useful for this type of design. Uh, let's go ahead and launch one of these so I can really show you the awesomeness that is the Elcor capsule. Once we get done loading the screen up. Now the thing, I am running 64-bit KSP right now. The one thing I have noticed is you'll notice um, my timer is just barely blinking yellow once in a great while. Okay, it might be because it's not running right now currently. So I got a lot of stuff going on here. It's a very busy display, and you can click on all these things. And well, I don't have I don't have the stage light on. Once you get into space, you'll want the lights on and stuff. You can lock your stages here. You can Press the abort button if you want. You can get to see your liquid fuel oxidizer and long repellent reserves, your charge, your charge rate, uh, all sorts of neat stuff. You can have your custom switches. You can actually have the, the buttons labeled if you go into the um, build mode. You have the, the, the info tab when you start typing the name of your ship. You, there's a there's a format you can do for that. What you doing there, Katie? You watching Daddy play KSP? So, I'm going to do an IVA to orbit flight. And because I don't know how to set maneuver nodes while in the capsule, I'm not going to do that. So I got some external cameras here. I got the stock capsule cams that came with it. Get next. Come see through it. And I got my stock cam. If I go ahead and I hit C1 and C2, we'll see my antenna unfold and my solar panels deploy. Which is pretty cool, but I don't want those done. So I have this set to just toggle if they're not going to deploy it or retract it, so I can verify if they're folded up or not by just looking at this camera. That's actually a window. And you have to go to your shutters and go open. Yeah, I can see. And you can click on that to get to see out the window. I must get the stock out of And you can even click on this window here, but there's nothing to see here as I got my thing blocking the way. But uh, this here is your timer. I can do my uh, universe time, time to apoapsis, periapsis, time to my new maneuver node, or mission elapsed timer, which is nothing right now. Uh oh, quick, quick.
Check out something. Uh, but yeah, I see my mission, my T plus mission timer at the top left is yellow. That means we're getting uh, lag. And all these switches, I have no idea what, do, I have no idea what they do, but they all go clicky clicky. So click all the buttons, all the switches, turn everything on. You know, I'll probably have like some sort of stupid checklist to make this all seem like it does something. But I'm sure this model after something. Like all the things. Neat little feature here that's kind of humorous is the crew tab. I have, you know, Jebediah was here, that would be full. I have we and panic, and that corresponds to their mood. I don't have McJeb. If I did, that would come on. I have my graphs, my terrain profile graphs. It's like a radar altimeter thing. It's pretty neat. Oh, I have Vessel Viewer, which is part of the Raster Prop Monitor add-on, so I can see my entire craft, this or whatever. That really brings stuff out. Katie, what you doing? You need to go to bed, sweetie pie. Ascent, descending, landing. So this would allow me to see my landing rate, meters per second. Oh, look it. There's more crew in here. There's three crew. This is the engineer's console. So he's got backups of all the resource displays and all that. And he can look at his own cameras. I can look at that one. I can look at the orbit view. Lander moonshot 3A ready to launch a curve. It tells you if you're in at, if, uh, the, the data about curve. Like O2, yes, that's important. So if I was in Stinking Duna, I'd say atmosphere, yes, but uh, it would tell me I didn't have any sort of O2, so that would be bad. And this is the scientist seat, and he's got a view of stuff, a mission flag, big giant camera, and because this is KSP, we have to have snacks, lobster, baked with I don't know what, chicken bakes, I got uh, some apple cider. I got some more snackage there. And yeah, I can click on this and this goes down, but it's not in. I guess you can heat up your meals. Food, food, snacks, utensils, vitamins. Yes, they have lots of snacks. You have to have lots of snacks on your flight. I swear because it's important to have snacks. And I'll just kind of fold up out of the way when you're done. So, let's do a flight to orbit strictly in IV mode. So I turn on SES. I'm going to yeah, this roll on. And I can actually do it here. But I want to make sure I'm throttle up some. So I just like the standard IV mode. You can click on this and randomly move it. Okay, and I can go fire.
first yellow which means we're getting to the six and max and that's the last one. I'm not going to get into this. I got this ground proximity warning thing, which I don't know what that's about, but I can tell the engines now. I think it's because I'm in atmosphere. But now, I can see space. Isn't it great? It's awesome. Uh, I can't think of the name of the guy who did this mod, but he did a really cool job with it. So let me turn on my solars. Yep, solars deployed. That's the thing about IVA only modes, you're not sure if you actually did the thing and if it worked. Well, now I got external cameras, I can actually check that. It's cool. Let's turn it some more. I see some consumption rate because I'm using um, a SAS torque. Means I can settle that out and just let it go. So now I'm after 71 meters, so now I can actually do my timer to, oops, wrong one, I can do at the lapse this time. Time to apoapsis, and I can fast forward. And when you do this, it automatically locks the stage lights, you can't hit the space bar. Okay, so now... Save my engines, I can go like that. Click, engines are not dead. Lock the stage. So now I can hit this button a whole bunch and that's gonna happen. And I still got half my fuel left in my tanks. Now I can see my crew is thoroughly enjoying the flight because the wee meters are picked out. I'll look back here and yeah, he's liking this flight. This other guy like he's like far out man, this is great. Yeah, this is uh, Alcor. Now we can see it in space in its glory. Oh, my thing's deployed. That's stupid. I left with my lander, my ladder done. I should put that in action too. 
Hmm? You did it? I did it too. Can you go to bed now? Lay down. So yeah, this is Encore. I highly recommend it if you want a more immersive IVA experience. It's quite deep. It's uh, worth taking a good look at. Um, I'm not sure how it works on 32-bit systems. I'm running 64-bit right now. It might be more of a headache for a 32-bit. Because I'm having just a little bit of physics delay here outside the capsule. And inside it, it goes straight yellow. So I don't know how it's going to be on 32-bit. But uh, I'm very happy with it. Oh yeah, the lights. The lights. All those on. Turn that on. And now you can see there's this glow down here by the panel. That's the docking lights, the navigation lights, red and green. And then there's uh, there's the lights by the hatch. These little goobers. And then I got a bunch of lights down here at the base of the lander. So. Yeah, it's uh, very cool, very immersive. Let's get these guys out of the sun. They don't want to the sun. Okay. So yeah, this is pretty cool, isn't it? All right, thanks for watching.